What's going on guys? It has been a minute to say the least. And honestly, it's because I haven't exactly been in the best of uh, best of mood for a while when it comes to uh, farming. But uh, we've been getting some rain over the last, I don't know, when did it really start? Last Wednesday? I think it was last Wednesday. We had a big 1.9 inches, I think. I think that's what we had, and we've had stuff since then. I don't know. We're probably... It's raining right now, trying to. I don't know how much it's really rained today, but it is raining. Uh, but we've probably had four. Maybe we've had something like four inches total. So that goes a long ways. That really does go a long ways into uh, making everybody, putting everybody in a better mood, uh, despite how the corn turned out. Corn did not turn out that great. Um, I mean, I've heard worse. I've heard, definitely heard worse. Um, but we only averaged... Um, 30 on the one and 35 on the other honestly i think what we probably had was at least on the piece i'm on right now i think we probably had more like i don't know anywhere from 50 to 60 in some spots but then we probably had some big old fat nothing in some other spots so i really think that's what pulled it down it it was the fact that we had good stands or we had good spots but then we had no spots so um, yeah, live and learn, um, already trying to figure out how to do things better. We'll see. I don't know. First year I ever grown corn. So, um, I'm, I was 30, 32 years old. First time I ever grown corn for a cash crop. So, Hey, you know, what can I say? I'm an idiot or I'm, <laughs> I, uh, what's. Maybe inexperienced, let's go with that. I'm inexperienced, so forgive me. I'm learning, I'm trying to figure some things out. But because we were so dry, let me flip you around so you quit looking at my ugly mug. Because we were so dry, I have not planted this to a cover crop. Uh, because I don't trust the weatherman. And we were nowhere near, I mean, there was no rain in the forecast. Um, and so I was like, we're not wasting the time yet. But because we have gotten this rain, um, now we're going to be in a dilemma, especially if we stay, I mean, if we stay wet, the dilemma answered, but what we are going to be doing is we're germinating a lot of our winter annuals. I'm pretty sure this is all hen bit. Um, let's see, but then we're also getting some, I'm sure this is a cheat grass germinating, which is good because we can come out now sometime here, no matter what, we will come out before we do anything. We will smoke this stuff off. Get it sprayed out. Get it help help get ourselves some uh, better control. But I'm looking for right now. Oh, where are you at? Oh, right there. Here's the only dilemma. We have a seed bank of hairy vetch out here, and that's what that little plant is right there. Is hairy vetch, and it's coming up. Of course it is. I'm hoping. I'm hoping the idea would be if we can come out here in about a week, we stay dry after this weekend, get cover crop in the ground. Hopefully we can have another 30 days of decent weather, get it germinated, get it up and growing, get it over winter. Um, but either way, we will have to come out and spray first before we drill, or we'll have to spray the week that we drill. So from along those lines, um, just because like I said, we have an opportunity to get good control on all these winter annuals um, and it'll go a long ways, I feel, in the future to uh, help us help us just get a better stand of it, everything, period. Um, the only thing is maybe we do wait until spring to drill and that way we have a, I mean, that gives us a couple more weeks and then maybe come out in December or something and uh, get this stuff sprayed off. Cause like I said, we, we've always battled cheat on a lot of this. Um, so yeah, I don't know, we'll wait and see. Um, but one thing about it raining is look at the fungal life we have. Absolutely love to see some mushrooms on the soil. And the other thing is you're in here. Looky there, one. 
too. And I'm not gonna look for any more because I don't wanna disturb them. Do we got any more on that side? Nope. So put you guys back. So even in a monoculture cropping year or the summer, guess what? We get some rain as tough as our ground was. And there again, he already disappeared, but there's an earthworm right there. Um, we get some moisture back in the system and it comes back to life. Um, which granted, on these, on this ground here, we've, we've worked towards that. Um, so we've definitely worked towards that to improving our soils. Um, we get a decent rain, it infiltrates, it doesn't run off. And, and that is one good thing about the, uh, all the crabgrass that we had that we had last year was well we got plenty of ground cover over winter so um yeah that's but the ground cover the cheap the crabgrass kind of makes me want to try some interseeding it really really does um and it going in wait until june to plant plant our corn because that seems to be what's working in our area for guys is planting the long season corn We'll wait until June to do it so it doesn't pollinate till August um, but with that being said come in at like v2 and drill a polyculture of cover crops I mean you know your brassicas some cool season legume and some warm season legumes and get the ground covered with what we want it to be covered with instead of what mother nature is just trying to do her job and cover the soil so that's kind of what I'm playing with my mind. Um, Cause like I said, as much daylight as we can get in between our corn rows, because we are growing pretty low, well not super low population, but we're not high population by any means. Um, I, I just feel like we can, uh, I feel like there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to germinate some seed and get some growth on it. Like I said, especially things like what I'm talking about doing with the brassicas and cool season stuff if it can germinate but then like the, if we do cowpeas or cowpeas and mung beans they should thrive under that canopy and help the corn and then the corn comes off and we already got a cover crop established and then we can wait and see till spring the next year see what we do um but yeah so that's kind of what i'm playing with in my mind we shall see um still trying to hammer those kind of hammer it out, the idea of it out in my mind and yeah so that guys i'll shut up um might see another video here a little bit totally different um subject but yeah like i said it's been a while but uh we'll see thanks for watching as always leave a question leave a comment um and again call me inexperienced but yeah we'll get it figured out so see you later guys